Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed morning wherever you are. It is approximately 138, so you should know I don't get on, on here that late. But um, I'm in the process of doing a lot, and I hear God talking so heavily. I have to be obedient. Thus saith the Lord, the watchmen and women have not been on their posts, but millions... I'm going to read that again. Millions are slipping into the kingdom of darkness. Church, we have to go back to the oracles of God. We've done too much. We've gone too far. Everybody likes entertainment. Everybody's after a bag of money. There's so much deception. Um, it's the Judas spirit. It's the Saul spirit. It's the King Nebuchadnezzar. Everybody think it's their kingdom. I'm telling you, we're in trouble, God says. I don't just stay up because I have to cater in the morning. So, um... I should really be sleeping, but the kingdom of God comes first. I don't care. Hallelujah. And so um, I've been up praying. Um, the watch time is from 12 to 2, um, then from 2 to 4 and to 4 to 6. We have to start praying like never before, said the Lord. People are dying. Millions, God says. And this is a strictly a word. I did not negate any subject and any word. Straight what you see is what God said. We have to go back into prayer. And I have to tell you some hard things this morning. We have to t stop touching the unclean thing. God says there's too much of a spirit of lust, selfishness, greed. And he's really upset about the spirit of attention. Look at me, look at me. Come on somebody, hallelujah. The world is turning the church worldly. It has turned it. it it's not is, it, it has turned God said, that's why people are not truly being saved and delivered and filled with the Holy Ghost. I just said something. You see, that's how a lot of people backslide. You can go to church all day long, but if you don't know that word, if you don't apply that word, then guess what? All you're doing is going to church, my brother and my sister. And I'm not trying to bash or condemn anybody. It's time for us to be truthful to the core. You know, we've gotten so comfortable with sin. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. We've gotten so comfortable with sin until now. Um, what y'all do is y'all make excuses for people that are in sin when we're supposed to rebuke it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I didn't say throw them away. I didn't say bash them. I didn't say talk about them over the pulpit, but we're supposed to correct. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We've all gotten tainted. That's I'm telling what the God, what God said. Hallelujah. We got to go back to holiness. Stop lying. Stop being deceptive. Stop being jealous of each other. I'm telling you what God say. We, we, we are against some real demons, some spiritual wickedness in high places. If you knew, I wish God can show y'all the level of warfare. And I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal. You have no idea. Oh, hallelujah. Because each level, there's a different devil. I knew that when they said that, you know, but we don't really know until we get into it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Today, God took me on a journey and I had to repent. I said, God, I repent. It's okay to be successful. It's okay to want this and want that. But we got to really be about our father's business. Everybody's trying to get a brand. Everybody's trying to make a name. Everybody's trying to get the bag, but people are dying. That should be the first thing. God told me to tell you he don't care about your houses, your cars, your job. He say, souls, that is the heart of me, Deanna. He says, my people are dying right there in the church. He said, and y'all can't get along for five seconds without somebody gossiping or, or talking or plotting or planning, God says. He says, and the only way, the only way is through repentance and prayer. America have sinned against God, thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. And he said that you will fall, America. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what God said. Persecution is coming. All these laws being passed, that is to disgage us in God. They don't want God. Oh, come on, somebody. They don't want God. And y'all don't want this to touch y'all. Y'all know who started this? Oh, y'all going to be mad at me, but I really don't care. Who changed the laws? Let's go scripture because y'all like to get mad. I don't care what color you are. Let me tell you something right now. When that last president was in office, he, he's the one that started this ball even more so. And I know y'all don't like it. I don't care what color you are. If you are against God, I am against you. I don't care what, what, what. I'm on one. The Bible says in Daniel that they think to change the times and the laws. When that happened, that was a door that opened and now it cannot be shut, thus said the Lord. He said we are like Sodom and Gomorrah to the 10th power. 
He said everybody's sleeping with each other, even in the church, pedophiles. My heart is hurting because people are dying without God. And in the church, you don't know God. God is holy. God is not hip. God is not swag. God is not all that stuff y'all trying to be. God is holy. Hallelujah. And he said, those that worship me must worship me in the spirit. Most people don't even know the spirit of God. And when you don't recognize it, you think somebody or with y'all warlock. I just said something. I just said something. And then when the real witch and warlock come around, y'all agree them as if they are not a witch and a warlock because they are no discernment in your spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Got to go back to praying. See, when you pray and you truly, 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 you truly have a word in your spirit. Let me tell you what happens. God manifests everything. He shows you everything. Apostle Deanna Dixon, let me tell you something why I, I love God and why I walk so passionate. He loves me and he loves you too. There is nothing he don't tell me. And I and sometimes I have to keep my mouth shut. I'm talking about friends, family, it don't even matter whoever you are. You know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. God will tell you they talking, they plotting, they planning, they did this. And sometimes he says, shut up. I got this. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I'll, I'll do it. I'll redeem you. I'll rebuke them. Hallelujah. People of God, this is a warning. God said, we all got to come back to the oracles of God. It's time out for plain and strain. If you're going to be with God, be with God. And if not, I remember, I'm, I'm reminded of Moses when he got the Ten Commandments. He said, those that be with God come up here. And you remember they stayed down and partying, drinking, having sex. Oh, pretty much like they're doing now, huh? He says, and those that would not serve God will die by the hand of God. Hallelujah. I know you don't like it up in here. This stuff real. And I know y'all don't like this kind of talk because we've gotten to where we compromise. We, 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 want, we want to allow this and allow that as if God is not God. Hallelujah. But God say he's raising up a standard again and it's starting into the house of God. In 2020, people are going to start falling dead. They're already dying through uncircumstance. I'm talking about getting shot and I'm not glorifying anything. Car crashes. Oh, y'all haven't heard about the last four in the last three weeks. Somebody better open their eyes. You can't stop God. And God is not pleased with America. God is not pleased with the body of Christ. We welcome witchcraft as if it's something. It's something when a witch and a warlock can come and sit in your church. Comfortable. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, thus said the Lord, most of the witches and warlocks are running the famous churches. But y'all don't want nobody to tell y'all that. That's why we don't see the power of God. I don't care. You can go to church all day long. If you ain't got no power, then why are you preaching? If you ain't got no power to lay hands, then why are you preaching? If you don't know how to heal and deliver through the power of God, why are you preaching? I'm going to tell you why. God said prosperity. Everybody want money. He said, but woe unto those that lead my people astray. Woe unto those that lead my people to death. Hallelujah. You better tell people the truth. Pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, evangelist. And stop lying to the people. Oh, I'm sorry. You got the, you got that um that 5013C. You, you can't talk about um, what you need to talk about. Because you're scared you're going to lose your church, your family, your wealth. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why Apostle Deanna Dixon, y'all don't understand my ministry, huh? They want to give me churches. God would tell me to say no. He said, because I need you to be unorthodox. You see, I, I, I can't say what other people say. And I can't, I can't hide like other people hide. I, I, I know they're going to get me one day. But guess what? So they did it to Jesus. They're going to have to do it to me. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody scared. And that's what's wrong. Most of you are scared because you can't stand like this if you ain't been with God. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to do some things in this hour like we have never seen. I see miracles. I see dead rising. I see the hill, the lame walking. I see, I see it. Oh, he says the apostles were good. He said, but my church came in power and we're going out in power, said the Lord thy God. But right now, he said, there is judgment. I feel the power of God up in here. 
There's judgment and it must begin in the house of God. God says coming down every false idol, every lying pastor, every deceptive person. He say every, every last one of you from Facebook to Crookbook to the church. You are coming down said the Lord. Hallelujah. He said that's my people. That's not your people. And you have lied before my people. You have stolen from my people. You have led them astray said the Lord. Hallelujah. Woe unto you God says and you have your reward. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. I haven't felt it like this in a while. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Repent said the Lord. Repent. Hallelujah. That's all God told me to say. It's praying time. Our children are dying. People are dying without God. He said, open your mouth. Most of you are scared. Love them back to life, but you must tell them the truth. Most of you don't want to tell them the truth. I, I, I'm mandated. I got to tell you the truth. And I know it don't sound good. I understand. But guess what? God says the blood, the blood is on your hands if you open your, not your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 Whew. So God bless you. God keep you. And um, I'm probably going to pray a little bit more. Isn't that something I got to get up at 4 o'clock and start cooking? <laughs> but God is good. God is good. God is good. But he want us to go deeper. He want us to go higher. He said, come closer to me. We need the only way, and I'm going to end it with this, the only way that we can combat the enemy and, and is through prayer and fasting. And you have to be pure to do that. And God said that, i got to tell you what God says. God said the body of Christ, I've, I've gotten lazy. You don't want to labor no more. You don't want to labor no more, God says. You don't want to well no more. You remember we used to have those testifying services all night long? I'm talking about prayer shut in, saith the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. Don't you understand? We got to return unto the God. Hallelujah. Y'all have got comfortable in this world, saith the Lord. And this is not your home. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.